Hello and welcome to Looping Animations in After Effects. There's something satisfying about watching and making looping animations. Have you ever found yourself staring at an animation for far too long, fully realizing that you're seeing the same thing over and over, yet still not being able to look away? Looping animations can be mesmerizing as a standalone piece on social media, but using looping techniques within longer narrated animations can be an efficient way to work. But if you've ever thought about trying to make an entire animated scene loop, then you know that it can be overwhelming to try to figure out how to time everything just right. I'm Megan Frias and I'm an Explanimator. I may have kind of made up that word, but I write, illustrate, and animate educational animations mostly on health and environment related topics. In this class, I'll show you the techniques that I use all the time to work more efficiently and make seamlessly looping animations for the web, social media, and Explanimations. While this class will have step-by-step -step instruction in After Effects, it's way more than that. I'll explain the thought process behind the techniques that I use to help you think like a motion designer and enable you to apply these ideas in your future work. In the first part of the class, we'll talk about the conceptual side of making looping animations and discuss best practices. Then we'll dive into After Effects to animate a looping underwater scene. I'll provide you with a partially animated After Effects file so we can focus on making these animations loop. We'll use different loop expressions to quickly animate flowing seaweed and swimming fish without setting a bunch of repetitive keyframes. Don't let the fact that we'll be using expressions scare you. The loop expression is like the kiddie pool as far as how deep you can get with expressions. And I'll show you exactly what you need to know to start using these expressions in your work. Next, I'll show you how to add overlapping action to make your animations look more realistic while still looping perfectly. Then we'll bring our seaweed and fish elements all together in an underwater scene. I'll show you how to offset different elements within the scene to create a stylized yet realistic underwater scene that loops seamlessly. And these techniques work on land too, or in pretty much anything else you may want to animate. This class is perfect for beginner to intermediate motion designers. If you've never used After Effects before, check out my orientation video, which you can find the link to below this video. I'd also recommend checking out one of my beginner classes first. By the end of this class, you'll have the skills and know-how to tackle simple to complex looping animations and understand when to use different techniques to work smarter, not harder. So if you want to learn how to create seamlessly looping animations, use my link to get a free trial of Skillshare to access my class and thousands of other classes on Skillshare.